Let's try another problem using pressure. I skipped practice problem number two because it was about concentration. And even though this one is about concentration, I want to show you that it could trick you. So here's a problem where we've got a one liter flask that initially has phosphorus trichloride, phosphorus pentachloride, and then after the system reaches equilibrium, we've now got some chlorine in the, in the mix. All right, so we've got a balanced equation. We're asked to calculate equilibrium concentrations of all the species and the value of K. And it doesn't seem like we have enough information to do this, especially given that they're all gases. But I'm going to use the Kc to get to the equilibrium process. So um, here's how we do it. Okay, since this is a one liter flask, then getting our molar concentrations is pretty straightforward. Let's start our rice table by putting the reaction in. PCl5 is phosphorus pentachloride, and that's going to decompose into phosphorus trichloride and chlorine gas. And our initial conditions that we're given, say in our one liter flask, we have point, let's see, point 0.298 moles in one liter of PCl3. And PCl5 is 8.70 times 10 to the minus 3 moles in that one liter. So that's our molar concentration. And it doesn't say that there's any chlorine gas, so we're not going to put any in. OK, so we have our initial conditions. And then they give us an equilibrium value for chlorine. So we're not going to use x. We're going to actually use what they give us for chlorine is 2.00 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. What this means is that we gained 2.00 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter of the chlorine gas. Since it's a 1 to 1 mole ratio with phosphorus trichloride, that means we also gained 2.00 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of PCl3. So I add 2.98 molar to 2 times 10 to the minus 3, and so minus 3 is, all right, that gives me 0 0.300 0 molar, right, because the 2 to the minus 3 is in that decimal, yeah. And over here, it's a 1 to 1 mole ratio, and my reactant gets used up, so that means I used up 2 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter and 8 minus 2 gives me 6.70 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter remaining of the PCl5. So that's my concentrations of everything at equilibrium and my equilibrium expression in Kc is with square brackets phosphorus trichloride concentration times the chlorine gas concentration divided by the concentration of phosphorus pentachloride. And I can put the equilibrium values in 0 0.300 times 2 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 6.7 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. And let's use our calculator. Okay, so 0.3 times 2 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 6.7 times 10 to the negative 3, and that gives us 0 0.089555. How many sig figs do we get? 3. So Kc is 0 0.08955. Uh, we better call that 56.0896. For the, if I had a temperature, I could change my Kc to a Kp, but I don't think we were given temperature here. Nope. Okay, that's it though. So when you're given an equilibrium value for one thing, that allows us to use stoichiometry to figure out the equilibrium value for everything else. So we can put in 
and solve the problem. So it wasn't as bad as it seemed, right? All right. So now you can tackle those problems on your own.